three very different condos in suburban Detroit, it's time for Dolly to make her decision. Priced at $99,000, the first option is a 586 square foot loft style condo in Royal That's cute. Oak. The location is just right, but with only one bedroom, it's barely bigger than Dolly's rental. I really like the condo that was priced at $99 in Royal Oak. It had nice neutral colors in it, which I liked a lot. It had a cozy feel to it, and it was a loft style, which I really liked. And it was nice to be able to find that style. Getting your nails done, girl! The only thing that I really didn't like is that it was small. Cozy could be small also. Listed at $138,000, the next option is I bet she gets number three. a 20 square foot, three bedroom condo in Sterling Heights. It's a bit over Dolly's budget and outside her target area, but it's got the space and kitchen she's looking for. I really like the condo in Sterling Heights. It has. Why are they, they showing her to get the nail salon? That's just bizarre. I would think it would have. <coughs> this is what she does all day. It had nice carpeting throughout, and I like the living room because it had the door wall, which is really nice. Geek. Geek Arama. Something that kind of bothered me was that it has this huge unfinished basement and I would have to finish it and I'm not that handy, so I don't know, we'll see. Mm -hmm. At the budget friendly price tag of eighty nine thousand nine hundred dollars, the last choice is a one bedroom, one bathroom. Detroit Eagle Bartender Condo. condo back in Royal Oak. This is the least expensive on the list, but the kitchen needs some pricey updates. The other condo in Royal Oak it was around 89000 It's really cute, so I like that one a lot. It's in a great location, which is definitely a big contender for me. The only thing, it is a one-bedroom, one-bath, so it doesn't have an extra space that I was kind of looking for, but I guess it just gives me something to think about. So, which one did she choose? I always have chosen the loft, but I think she chose number three. I ended up choosing... Oh, cool. Priced at 89 dollars in Royal Oak because it had a great location and all my gay friends live nearby. I just thought it was the right choice for me based on all the things I'm looking for. When Dolly made the offer on the condo, she found out a similar unit became available, complete with new appliances and a washer dryer in the kitchen. It was priced higher, but Dolly made a bid for $89,900 and they accepted. Wow. Good for you, girlfriend. I was able to get this at a lower price and also not have to pay closing costs, so it worked out. Some of the compromises I had to make were that it wasn't as big as what I was looking for originally. But oh, eek. God, who lives there now? Some other old lady. Space, Carpeting in the bathroom? Ugh. And sell this one in that market. Good luck. It's only one month later, and already Dolly loves the benefits of being a homeowner. It's so convenient now that I live here. I love that I can do my laundry right in my unit. That was a big thing. In the kitchen, that though. God, that's kind of bizarre. And it's just so much more comfortable. Wash and dryer combos don't usually work very well. And all the appliances in here are it's new. It's very European. And it's so nice having a refrigerator that doesn't squeak every time I open it. <laughs> which means no separate office. But with an open layout and plenty of closet space, this condo is still a winner. My favorite space in the house is the living room. I feel like this is the hardest. That is for furniture. Oh, dear. Nice <laughs> Sorry, Dolly. It can actually look for us to look like. The big, the big couch is okay. Putting her own stamp on her new house. Some of the differences between being a renter versus an owner are that... I can light candles now. Oh, my God, my smelly, girly candles. No, that's okay. Those green right pieces need to go. Best of all, Dolly has a place where she's proud to entertain friends. Uh, seems like there's a lot of cooks in this kitchen, doesn't there? <laughs> oh, girl. <laughs> Gay friends? I'll oh, check. There we go. <laughs> I'm going to get trouble back. I'm autistic. And I've got glasses. Lesbian? Well, she might be a lesbian herself. I didn't know her. Honey. I think that when I look back, 